Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Armstrong, Digital Content Coordinator for Fort Wayne Community Schools. And today, we're at the Bill C. Anthes Center, the Career Academy at Anthes as it's known, where I'm gonna introduce you to our first ProFed Teacher Rockstar of 2023. And we're so excited to be back with you. Today, we're gonna introduce you to Sarah Scheip. She's a teacher here at the Career Academy who connects with juniors and seniors from high schools all over the city and prepares them for a career outside of the traditional college system. Today, let's go inside as I introduce you to our ProFed Teacher Rockstar. Hello, how are you guys doing? Good, what are you doing here? We have come to see you and some of your students today. Why? Well, because we have some exciting news. I am Steve Armstrong and I'm the Digital Content Coordinator for Fort Wayne Community Schools. And today we're here to not only record you, but present you with this check from ProFed Credit Union. Oh my gosh. Yeah, how cool is that? that there is it amazing. is, right oh there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what? every single month we honor uh, with ProFed one teacher in our entire district who is an outstanding teacher and has been uh, nominated from their principal and their staff as a rock star. And you are a rock star for Fort Wayne Community Schools. Oh my Thank you very much. Yes. I appreciate it. So we have a few questions for you okay. uh, before we kind of uh, mosey around the room here and get to meet some of your students okay. and stuff. How long have you been teaching? Tell us a little bit about your career. Well, I started at FWCS um, in 2000, 2000 um, student teaching at Fairfield Elementary, and I stayed there for 10 years. Um, I moved to Harris Elementary for 10 years where I taught and was also an instructional coach. So I've been in the district for over 20 years. Excellent. So. A lot of people start out at Fairfield, it yes. seems like. Yes, yes. a lot it's of people a great I building. know. It is a great <laughs> building. What is one thing that you can think of that really made you choose that career of teaching? Like, why are you here and what was it? You could have done a bunch of different things, but mm -hmm. you chose teaching. So my story, I think, is similar to other teachers. Um, we, I had an amazing fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Lyons, who taught at Harrison Hill. I went to Harrison Hill for elementary school. And she was so amazing and did such great work with us that she inspired me to want to become a teacher. So um, I knew when I was in her class and she really helped me um, through, I was terrible at math. And she took the time and stayed after school with me and worked with me and really put forth the effort. And I was like, that's what I want to do too. I want to help kids and I want to change their lives like she did mine. So. Yeah. That's cool. Was, so it added up all in the end for you, right? Yes. And I Excellent. actually ended my teaching by teaching fifth grade. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Come full circle yeah. there. Can you tell us one story that you've had where you've connected with a student in your whole teaching career? Mm -hmm. And it's it just one story that stands out to you like, man, I really made an impact or I was really able to connect with him or her. So um, when I was at Fairfield, I had a third grader at the time who was going through some things at home. Um, and actually ended up um, going into foster care for the time for a time being and um, you know you don't know it always at the time but she reached out to me years later as an adult and um, just told me what a difference I made in her life and um, how she didn't know if she would have made it without me and just that you know small what I consider to be a small thing and just a small little effort really kind of changed things for her and made her life better. Um, so you don't always, as a teacher, you don't know right away, especially as an elementary right. teacher, right away the impact that you can make on lives. And it may not be until later on that you truly find out what you have done for students. Yeah. And a lot of those stories, not only did you make an impact for her, but it sounds like she kind of made an impact for you Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And I still am in um, communications with her. So oh, that's we cool. still chat occasionally and she's got kiddos of her own now. So. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, this year we got something new. We always kind of dig up a little dirt on the person that we're presenting this award. Oh boy. You are getting a hundred dollar check. So there's a reason yeah. behind that. Okay. But tell us a little bit about your family. You guys are educators. Your mom worked for the district. Mm -hmm. Your husband works in the district. Correct. You have a sister that is in education as well, was, uh, was in education. Yeah. So does that just mean your kids are all going to have to go into education? Well, we've had How's those that conversations. So yes, my mom worked um, at Grail for a number of years, um, working with some of the incoming or actually going into principal principals. 
Um, and then my husband is a teacher at Northrop, and he's been there for 25 years. Wow. Um, and I've, we've got two kids at Northrop. We have um, a little one actually at Career Academy at Anthus. So um, we're all here. Good. Um, can't get rid of us. Yeah. But it's, you know, FWCS is really important to us because, like I said, I went to Harrison Hill, I went to Guyer, I went to Southside. My husband graduated from Northrop. So this is kind of our family, um, and we, you know, want to continue to do good things for this district and to work for the district, and, you know, we want our kids to be with us um, in the district as well. So um, we've had conversations about teaching, and I don't know. But we still have, have our high schoolers left, right? so, yeah. aren't that interested, but... We've got a four-year-old that maybe, maybe that's what she'll decide to do. Yeah, excellent. Well, that's really cool. It's always, I love hearing the stories of people that uh, both the, uh, the husband and the wife work in the mm -hmm. district. Their kids have went through there. They grew up through the district. So yeah. that's amazing. And I know that uh, heritage that you have growing up here has kind of allowed you to give back to the district Absolutely. as an employee as yeah. well. So thank you on behalf of everybody at the district and ProFed. We want to thank you for being our teacher rock star yeah. of this month. And for everyone thank else... You. Thank you for joining us. We're glad to get this school year started again, and we'll see you next month, the last Thursday of every month, for our ProFed Teacher Rockstar.